Welcome to Click Connect. I'm your host, Craig Sullivan. And today, I am privileged to welcome Mr. John Valdez, Western Regional Business Development Manager at the service companies. Welcome to the show, John. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, Craig. Really big fan of the show. Love to be here. Just a top of the morning to you, my friend. <laughs> It's good to have you here. This has been a pleasure. John's another one of the individuals that uh, I've met online via LinkedIn, where you can find this show every Tuesday and Thursday. Hey, John, do me a favor. Would you tell the audience about the service companies, please? Well, the service companies is an integrated partner. So we do cleaning, we do staffing, we do engineering maintenance. We do a little bit of everything. Uh, made our name in the uh, hospitality industry. Do about five million dollars, uh, five million square feet of space a day in cleaning. Um, so made our made our way in that, but we branched out into all sorts of different verticals. Nice. Now you're in all the major metropolitan areas here in California, without a doubt. You're in various other states, so you are coast to coast, correct? That is correct. We have a presence in you know all fifty states. You know, just depending on what vertical you're talking about, whether it's staffing or cleaning or engineering, we definitely have a presence. Well, let's talk about this for a second. Um, let's talk about the cleaning scenario. You know, you've got you've got teams that that do housekeeping and maintenance and engineering and everything else. What's that been like through COVID-19? Well, it's been wild. I mean, here, you know, I, I kid people, it blew my hair off, you know, with all the different changes <laughs> <laughs> that we had. But you know what? It, it taught us a great deal. And what, what really has been a phenomenal experience is partnering with people, trying to, you know, get them back online or provide a safe environment. You know, cleaning used to be a, a, a line item on page three of your profit and loss statement. Now it's on page one and, you know, we've learned a great deal. We've been able to partner and help, you know, a great deal of our, you know, our clients, you know, get through this tough time. So, okay. To continue down this path with, uh, with the cleaning. So you're doing hospitality, you're doing medical, you're doing office buildings. I'm guessing restaurants, sports and entertainment venues, college campuses, probably some private schools, malls, shopping centers, car dealers. So it's 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 a full gambit of commercial assets, correct? Multifamily, all of that. Absolutely. Yeah, we made our way, you know, we're known for, you know, our hospitality cleaning, but we are have branched off. Notably, you know, we are doing some great work with K through 12. You know, with getting the schools back online, that's been a big place for us. You mentioned you know, higher education, we're definitely there. We actually have presence in uh, some of your known, you know, arenas as well. The Warriors Arena up north, Levi nice. Stadium, the new Raiders Stadium is another one of our, our clients. And so, yeah, we've had, we, we've gotten ourselves branched off into a lot of different verticals. And it's been a, a phenomenal experience because when you've done hospitality cleaning, you can do it everywhere. So yeah. people really appreciate that five-star touch. Absolutely. You are doing resorts, not just select service and, you know, urban core hotels. Now, with that going on, has everything changed? Are they having your crews there more during peak hours when people are in the lobby so that they see you cleaning and you know, planning that subliminal message with, with the traveler? Absolutely. And the hotel and casino space especially because, you know, you have your yeah. high-touch areas with your gaming machines and that type of thing. Right. A lot of them have moved and, and, and it was smart to do so, to actually have that presence, not only to, to, you know, clean their floor, their casino floor, but to actually have a better presence and confidence in the client or their, their customer base coming through and seeing that. We've actually seen an uptick in staff, which we've been able to provide. It's obviously we've had some headwinds across the country and getting people back to work. But because we have a whole staffing division, we've been able to supplement that additional staff that people have been doing, especially in their EBS departments. Okay. And with Vegas coming back on, you know, Caesars, MGM, various others, their casinos are back to open 100%. So 
I'm imagining uh, there's been a boon of new hires in uh, in Sin City. So that's that's a good thing. And we can, you know, because I know they were having problems, especially when the on the housekeeping side, they couldn't clean rooms fast enough to re-rent them. Um, so I think you're going to, you know, you're going to see quite a difference there, especially if they're on board with the service companies. Yeah. Um, John, you've got an, a, a program that you guys launch. It's called Stamp. Would you tell the audience and myself what that's all about, please? Um, you know, our, our stamp program, you know, in, in terms of, you know, it's, it's, it's major everything that you have in terms of, of your cleaning and your, your, uh, your, your facilities. You know, what we want to be is a complete partner, an integrated partner to making sure that we have everything covered, you know, whether it's your, your cleaning and your, your facility, whether it's maintenance on the HVAC side or whether or not we're dealing with that of, you know, your staffing. So we want to be a complete partner to you. We're a plug in to anything that you can do in terms of making your facility run better so you can concentrate on your core business. Nice. I'm liking that a lot. Um, and I like the idea. It's, it's either one phone call or one email, you know, here, Absolutely. we need this, this, and this. Now, Tell us about your staffing arm. Obviously, that's a challenge across the country, hospitality in particular. So how are you able to fulfill the needs of the hotel community in particular? And feel free to touch on some of the others that you're putting teams together and staff in place. So how are you doing that? Well, one of the things that uh, we were able to do uh, during the pandemic is that um, – we made a very strong effort to stay within the waters that we kept. We kept these people warm. We continue to, you know, continue to touch this and continue to build it. You know, a lot of people just say, hey, we don't have any worry. We'll call you when we need you. You know, one of the things our staffing department has been able to do is actually increase our, you know, our supply of potential workers. So as we were doing that, we say, hey, listen, let's do whatever we can to keep these people connected, to stay in touch, continue to keep up, you know, with uh, the correspondence. And when things click back on, you know, our hotel partners, they were so happy because, you know, we weren't all of a sudden, you know, at a standstill. We were continually, yeah. you know, sharpening that ax, making sure that people knew and we've been able to have a lot more success. So it's been able to uh, a leg in to a lot of our hotel partners and being able to provide it because they are hurt for staff right now. And we have been successful in providing them. Absolutely. Hey, John, I hate to say this, but we're out of time. It flies when we're having fun. So shameless plug time. How can people get a hold of you? Well, you know, I'm uh, John Valdez, john.valdez at theservicecompanies.com. We want to be able to help you with your cleaning, your staffing, your maintenance, anything that you have. Whatever you don't want to do, we're there to do to make your business so you can concentrate on your core business, get that occupancy up, get higher rates up there. Let's get back to pre-pandemic. Let's make it happen. The Service Companies is here to assist you. I love it. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you being on the show and you've got an open invitation to come back anytime you want. Craig, you're the best. Really appreciate the show. Much love to you, my brother. Thank you. And I'd also like to thank our production partners, Red Roof Franchising and Chicago Titles National Commercial Services Group, based right here in California. And it's all in the title with them. They are a national presence. And if you're not using them, why not? If you reach out to Red Roof, why not? Give them a call as well. Tell them you heard about them from Craig and Danny. We'd love to send you over there and have them talk to our friends. John will be joining us at Click 5 live and in person on October 5th at the new crown jewel of the Anaheim Resort area, the JW Marriott. And we will be having our live and in person event. So please go to cliconference.com and register soon. And if you've got anything that you want to share with us, you want a guest to be on the show, you've got a topic, DM Danny and I. We'd be glad to take a look at it. Also, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, smash that bell, and join us. You'll get updates there, and you'll know when the episodes first drop on YouTube. So thank you all. Thank you, our audience. We appreciate you joining us. Please remember, be kind. 
share your knowledge. Now go be amazing.